Right, another knife handle is done, ready. This knife has a lot of things going on. It's a slight narrowing down to the blade. There's a battery there, and then it narrows down again towards the rear and the tail. Very, very comfortable and smooth. You have probably noticed these cracks. There's a big one. But I have actually uh, stabilized it. I put glue in there and uh, sandpapered it together with uh, dust, horn dust, antler dust. So this knife handle is made out of uh, moose antler 
And uh, so here we have a call it antler, and uh, these are cut out pieces. So, and this handle is made out of uh, one piece of uh, what we call in Swedish the crown, which is this part. This is the densest part, and uh, there is no marrow in this part here. So one crown is there at the front, and another one is reversed. So this is actually made out of uh, two antlers. I had a lot of fun making this handle. This was a very challenging handle to make and uh, I ran into uh, challenges all the way through from the start to the end. And uh, it's a very, it's a different design this time. Oh, it's very smooth. I have started to polish my uh, antler handles. It really gives a nice finish to it. Because it's two different antlers, we have two different uh, colors, coloration. So, front, rear, crown of a moose antler here, and a reversed one on this side. And the challenges, the challenges I had with this knife was the drilling, the tangle, and it was a bit misplaced on the side. But uh, I think I still managed to do a good job saving it. It's a kind of a hook, hook handle. There's a lot of angles going on here. We have a slight belly that also narrows towards the finger grip. And also down here where our uh, little fingers join and grip. It's also a little narrower here to give that very comfortable. And uh, the palm is where the bigger belly is. It's very smooth. It's a larger handle, so there is a lot of uh, movement with your hand here, if you would like. Divided by uh, two birch bark spacers here. It has a straight back and some slight angles towards the blade, narrowing down. There is a belly, and then it narrows also down towards the tail. Copper pin washer. If you're new to this channel or you usually watch this but you haven't subscribed yet, you probably know and I encourage you to uh, go watch the making of this giveaway knife. I plan to give it away when I reach 3000 subscribers. So watch the video, throw your name in there if you're interested and uh, we'll find an owner. 3000 subscribers giveaway. Thank you to everyone who have watched, who have liked, who have shared, who commented, given feedback and especially a huge thank you to my Patreons. If you would like to uh, become a Patreon, I will put a link in the description. And uh, I see you on the next one.